Aries, hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 6th to the 12th of February 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Oh, I've got all of these upside down. No, I haven't. Maybe just one or two. We'll go with this. Right, so Aries, 6th to the 12th of February 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Aries. Overall, patience. <laughs> Patience is a virtue, as they say. Things seem to be going at a snail's pace at the moment, but this may be giving you time to gather things together and um, to breathe. Maybe after the whole Christmas New Year thing, it takes a bit to settle back down and um, it may be just slowing the energy down a bit to actually um, get some alignment back into place. But whatever this is around, patience. Past energies, you had the star, three of pentacles, princess of wands. May have had dealing with an Aquarius here, but focus here was on your wishes, your dreams, your hopes. There was teamwork, there was collaboration, and you weren't afraid or scared to um, share your ideas with others here to build something solid and to get these plans underway. Love that. Brilliant. Present energies, Three of Cups, Justice, Ace of Pentacles. We'll start with the core of your reading. Always say Sweet Justice. May have connection to a um, Libra here. Don't know why I just about said Leo. No. Um, connection to a Libra here. But there is this whole new beginning. I feel like some of you, um, this may be a court case you've been going through. And you, we know that they take their own sweet time to come out. But um, favourable outcome, if that's the case, hopefully there for you. You are celebrating whatever this justice is, whether it's a court case, whether it's legal, monetary, whether it's something completely different, good karma, good result for the hard work you've put in, the plans that you put into place, um, you know, those base plans. You're celebrating a good outcome. And now there's more. This Ace of Pentacles is ready to get this next chapter on the go. Future energies, the Deceiver, the Emperor, Ten of Cups. May have dealings with a Capricorn here or another Aries, your own energy here. Being in control of the situation, there may be a bit of negativity around um, whatever this new beginning is going to be. And it's just being aware of that. It may feel like you are stuck and bound and chained to some sort of energy there that's holding you back. But ultimately that Emperor has come up right next to it where you are in control of the situation. Divine masculine energy, very brave, very confident, very logical, and there's emotional happiness here. Stability, everything seems pretty ship shape. And um, that 10 of cups to finish is brilliant. So the, you know, just being aware that this next new chapter may bring a bit of negativity around you and being aware of that. But um, ultimately, for some reason, patience and things have been moving slowly or maybe are moving slowly. But we'll clarify everything here, Aries. Overall, Prince of Pentacles. Well, some of these are King of Swords, the Hierophant, Eight of Wands. Using your head over your heart, you know, slowing the energy down to be able to think things through logically to make sure that you do have the full story. The communication is very open and clear here because especially when somebody is putting some pressure on you to do things in a certain way that may not be agreeable to you. So it is slowing the energy down, at least thinking things through here very clearly, very logically before taking action following your own heart, following your own beliefs, but this is how this energy is slowing down to give you that moment. So past energies, the star, two of swords flew out there. Oh, love that, the sun. And the six of wands, 
victory love this brilliance happiness this was around your focus around your dreams your wishes here your hopes and you have the sun you have the six of wands it's now taking this blindfold off to focus on what each path has there may be a bit of confusion what direction to take now but ultimately things in the past here have worked out pretty nicely for you hopefully that's for all of you and there is this victory here the happiness the joy love it brilliant three of pentacles aries seven of pentacles ten of pentacles queen of swords whole different approach towards something or someone possibly towards a, um, an idea that you have had to get your dreams underway but a lot of hard work pays off that success is there um, you know around home family life that's all happening things are falling into place but it has all come with taking quite a different approach in the past than what you would usually do um, maybe clearing the air with somebody in particular back here but um, I feel this is more around your dreams and this approach that you have taken towards getting these off the ground because it's happening Aries Princess of Wands Ace of Cups, The Magician, Two of Pentacles. New chapter, I always say when it comes to love, it could be a job you love, home you love, could be love, love, um, pregnancy, birth, marriage proposal, even meeting somebody extremely brand new. But you've been manifesting things in the past, your wishes, your dreams, things are starting to get under control here, back into balance and alignment here. And this new chapter is beginning and it's beginning very nicely as the flow on effect goes through. So love all this Aries, brilliant. So present energies, she say crack open the champagne when it looks like it's all going pretty well. Celebration here. Ten of swords, six of swords justice and you go into justice next so very close to a very um favorable outcome with a double dose there as i said going into that energy next as well ending a painful cycle you've put some plans into place to get things moving forward and again this whole justice is something to celebrate and is also is something to celebrate when you are ending some sort of painful cycle that you have been through or some sort of journey that hasn't been um, the easiest to navigate there. But ultimately, maybe have connection to Libra as we come to the core of your reading as justice. Four of Cups, Seven of Swords, Princess of Swords. It has taken whatever this is, a lot of your focus, a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, which is bringing me back to that court court case kind of situation legal situation it's taken a very long time with that prince of pentacles overall to be able to shift your focus around but feel like you've started to see some sort of deceptive energy here some gossip some backstabbing may have been seeing somebody um in a completely different way somebody's been knocked off their pedestal with that four of cups and that seven of swords together that you did have actually high regard for and something has gone pear-shaped i'm going to say and it's knocked them off their pedestal there that in itself may be your sweet justice there but you've got this princess of swords bring it on bring this next chapter on we're going to the ace of pentacles a successful new beginning again here and it's like yep you're ready for this let's get this started holy moly ace of pentacles aries Three of Wands, Four of Swords, Five of Wands. A bit of conflict, a bit of disagreements, a bit of drama to be aware of in getting this new chapter underway. But in saying that, taking some time out for yourself to do some healing, to look after number one. And this is where the energy slows down when you do take time to breathe and to rejuvenate and to gather your thoughts here to get this new journey underway. Your eyes are open wide. You see the bigger picture 
and you know where this journey is about to take you but it's also being aware of the drama especially as we come into the deceiver energy I feel like there is maybe somebody here that's um may be prepared to do a bit to hold you back here whether it's around this deceptive energy but um somebody's not ready for you to move forward quite so quickly i'm going to say after some sort of justice so the deceiver nine of cups eight of cups seven of cups wow look at that for a number synchronicity even though the other way nine eight seven and they are all cups maybe dealing with a water sign um emotional energy here uh pisces cancer scorpio are the water signs here but this um all these cups here there is some sort of emotional attachment that you're ready to leave behind and it's around this drama and conflict it's around this deceiver energy you are ready to leave that behind you've got other options here and it has been overwhelming at times to explore all of these options but i feel like again slowing the energy down slowing the pace down and just actually looking at each option and what works out best for you because there's emotional happiness here for the taking. I always say take it with both hands and run with it. But um, there is this negative energy that does need to be detached, detached from first. Wow. So the Emperor, your own energy here, Aries. Nine of Pentacles, Strength, the Chariot. May have connection to Leo or Cancer here, but claiming some sort of independence a job promotion um maybe just that success is there you can see that coming in towards you and it may be successfully being able to cut yourself free from this deceiver energy here it takes a lot of strength but you're in control of the situation and you know where your chariot is taking you okay balancing that out and getting things moving at a steady pace maybe slow moving to start with with that prince of pentacles as well but be patient as per that prince of pentacles as well um this chariot it is going to start picking up the pace right here and you finish with the ten of cups love this the fool the hermit look at all these arcanas to finish five clarifications in a row okay but you have the fool the hermit the wheel of fortune may have connections to a virgo here doing some soul searching doing some um contemplation here seeing light at the end of the tunnel slowing down taking the time to do that soul searching there because when things start to speed up with that chariot that is when you're ready to take a leap of faith towards your bigger and better things here good luck good fortune hopefully for all of you keep that energy moving forward from here so aries let's see what the universe says king of pentacles prince of cups temperance success sudden success and maybe from this leap of faith here but somebody's also offering this cup of love this may be that leap of faith you may be offering love to someone they may be offering love to you but there is sudden success out of this offer that is being made as i said maybe a job you love a home you love maybe love love just go with the flow don't force the issue when things need to slow down slow things down may have connection to a sagittarius here but ultimately it is saying just go with the flow and that success will come in abundance loving that so star temple oracle to finish aries You get number 19 the oracle forecast i am the oracle my intuitive insights flow freely love that brilliant star words foresee foreknow foretell despite being the youngest sister of the pleiades selena the is the wise and highly intuitive oracle of the star temple she appears to you now to guide you forward on your spiritual quest for intuitive illumination. 
Selena also affirms that you are an oracle of the light yourself. You have the gift of prophecy and the ability to shine your intuitive torch to lead and enlighten lost souls. Embrace your intuitive intelligence and focus on service. See, know, feel and express your inane awareness with honourable intentions. Trust in your own inner oracle and cosmic link to the divine. Brilliant. Aries, all yours. So that's what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.